we're going to erase the logo right there. And watch what happens. Look at how quick that is to process everything. And ta-da, we have now gotten rid of the logo. Hey everyone, Phone Chef here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be walking you guys through some Pixel 7 Pro tips and tricks. I did receive this phone as a gift from Google, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this phone, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our settings right here, and we're gonna look at our system navigation options right here. So you can tweak this however you want. Under the system navigation setting, we have either gesture control. So we have our gestures. If you wanna do a lot of swiping, you can do that or you can configure it right here to three button navigation. It's up to you and what you prefer. Next, let's talk about battery saver. So under our settings, select battery. We have battery saver. We can turn that on or off, set it to a schedule and turn off when charged above 90%. We also have access to extreme battery saver. Basically, this will pause unused apps or non-essential apps to preserve and conserve your battery. We can choose when we want to use it and which apps are essential. Maybe you still always want to have Instagram on and you don't want to disable it. You can pick and choose right here from a list of all your apps. So if you're battery conscious, you're really worried about that, you have a couple different options here, battery saver and extreme battery saver. Next up, we're still in the battery settings here. We have battery share. We can toggle that on and we can use our Pixel 7 Pro to charge other devices by placing them on the back of our phone. So right here by the Google G logo, you could put your Pixel Buds, another Pixel phone, Anything that charges wirelessly that's compatible with this device, you'll be able to use right there. You can also pick and choose to stop sharing the battery when your phone reaches a certain threshold. So really convenient to have. Nice to have that feature, pretty clever. Next up, your Pixel 7 Pro is equipped with the built-in screen recorder. That's what we're using right now. So you can pull down from the top. Currently we're recording our screen. Swipe over here. There's our screen record settings. You can select that. Choose if you want to record keystrokes and device audio or microphone audio or both. You have all those settings right there within your phone. Next up, we have a handy little shortcut here. You can double tap the power button to bring up your camera. So watch what happens. So I just pressed it twice. Now the camera is activated. There we go. We can use our camera really quickly without having to find it within our phone or selecting any sort of icon. Two taps and the camera's up and ready to be used. While we're talking about the camera, let's talk about Google Lens. So make sure you're taking advantage of Google Lens. It's under the mode section, select lens, and then watch what happens. We could scan our box right here. So this is pretty cool. So we can search the text. It's great if you wanna use this to scan QR codes. Maybe you're trying to identify a flower, plant, tree, things outside. You can scan basically anything and they'll give us the options here to translate text, search, you get the idea, we got visual matches here. Really, really a useful tool. Now it wouldn't be a tips and tricks video if we didn't talk about magic eraser. So go ahead, find a photo you have on your Pixel 7 Pro. In this case, we'll edit this one. Hit the edit icon, move over to tools, magic eraser, it may find suggestions for you. If you have a lot of like wires or things in the background, it is smart enough to identify some of those. In our case, we're just gonna go ahead we're gonna erase the logo right there and watch what happens. Look at how quick that is to process everything and ta-da, we have now gotten rid of the logo. Let's see what happens if we tap the G right there. Look at that, amazing. Now let's talk about messages. Here's our default keyboard right here. You may notice there's no number row at the top. I prefer to have a number row, so I always like to add that into my phone. Select the settings gear icon here, preferences, Number row, it's the first option, we can turn that on. And now watch what happens when we go back, we have a dedicated number row. When you're using a phone with this large of a screen, you'll appreciate having the split screen feature. So go ahead, pull up Google Chrome or whatever you want to split a screen with. Hit the little square button at the bottom, tap the Chrome logo, split top. Now we can select all of our other apps. So let's pull up YouTube. And there we go, we have just split our screen right here. And then if we wanna go full screen to YouTube, we can. We can go back, split top, put Chrome there. You get the idea. So now we can consume multiple pieces of content at the same time. 
And this is probably one of my favorite Pixel features. I've been using a Pixel phone for a while. You've probably taken advantage of it already, but let's go to settings. Let's search now playing. Here we go. Make sure you enable this. This can help identify songs for you in the background and it shows up right on your home screen, right where that little music um, note is. It will tell you the song name and the artist. Really, really cool. And further down, you actually have a history of the songs that you've listened to. So say in a couple of days, you forgot a song, you wanted to see what it was, you couldn't remember, you can come right into your history and find it right there. So this is great when you're driving in the car, it tells you what's on the radio, maybe you're watching a TikTok video, you don't know what the sound is, or a video online, you're you know watching TV and there's a song in a commercial you like. This should be able to identify most of those songs for you. And it runs in the background continually without you having to do anything. You don't have to pull up Shazam or ask your Google Assistant. This is just running continually in the background and it shows it pretty discreetly on your home lock screen. Lastly, with the Pixel 7 Pro, you have the option to adjust the resolution. So settings, let's go to display towards the bottom screen resolution right here. We can turn it to high resolution 1080p or full resolution 1440p. Keep in mind, if you use full resolution, you will use more battery than high resolution and switching between the two may cause some apps to restart. Thanks so much for watching my Google Pixel 7 Pro tips and tricks video. If you have any additional tips and tricks, please share them in the comment section.